Right, so first off we'll start with a microphone which I picked up on Amazon a couple of years ago. And this is what I've been using uh, up until a couple of weeks ago for nocturnal sound recording. So you can see that it's got two different functions. One is normal and one is tele. Um, the tele function is probably the best I've found. Uh, it picks up more sound than the normal function. It just means that it's a little bit more directional. Uh, so anything flying overhead is picked up quite easily by this. Um, so the microphone, as I said, is a cheap one I picked up on Amazon. Uh, it was about 50 quid. Uh, it's done really, really well for a good couple of years. Um, it does have a little bit of inherent noise, which I got a bit fed up with and have spent some more money on a, a Tlinga parabolic microphone. Um, but we'll look at that a little bit in a second. Um, so basic kit that you'll really need to, to do your recording is obviously your microphone. So it's not a big, big item at all. Um, I've got a handle. Uh, which has got uh, elastic in the middle, so if any shakes or anything like that, don't pick, get picked up by the microphone. Um, windsock, the most useful thing to go with the microphone, really. Um, any any wind noise is kind of exacerbated without it. Um, so do make sure when you're buying a microphone that you get one with a windsock. Um, recorder, I use a Tascam DR05. Uh, it's a really, really nice recorder, nice and lightweight. Uh, it will record uh, with a memory card up to 32 gigabytes, um, which is more than enough for one night's recording. And the best thing about this uh, is it will record in uh, uncompressed formats, uh, so I'm able to, uh, to import it into Audacity really, really easily uh, with no compression. Um, something really important to have as well, I've got a portable battery pack. Um, it's one of the ones that you can buy to charge your phones, um, but I just run it with a USB cable straight into the recorder uh, and that gives me enough power for up to a week.